Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review. This time on an M-Way portable LCD digital microscope. Now I was contacted by the company Firstmore which also has an Amazon store and they saw the reviews on my channel and contacted me via email and asked me to review their product and here it is comes in this box it does have a 4.3 inch LCD screen kind of show you the box kind of show you the pictures on there and there are the specifications now this is a 1080p camera has a six, six hour battery life which is pretty incredible so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in now according to this literature here you can also insert a micro SD card up to 64 gigabyte so you can take pictures of whatever you're examining there's the user manual Here's the mount for that. Comes with a wall charger and also a USB cable. So we're going to go ahead and take all this stuff out. Move this out of the way. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the stand together here. Now this stand is kind of unusual. Now this stand is a little unusual because it has a suction cup on the bottom similar to a windshield mount which is kind of unusual if you ask me. But in any case um, you can mount that to your way and be able to move this around and uh, be able to get a good angle on whatever you're looking at. Okay, so I got a piece of wood here that I have, and I'm just going to go ahead and go over the close ups on the unit. High impact plastic, show you the camera with the LEDs. So you can get light on whatever you're examining. Buttons on here to help you take photographs as well as the power button. And here's the brightness for the LCD screen. And the micro SD card goes in there so you can take pictures. And the charging port. Alright, let's go ahead and put this on and let's go ahead and take a look at some stuff that's small. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn on the unit now. And you'll see a splash screen there come up. And it's showing just my fingers too big. So I'm just going to take a memory stick of mine here from a laptop. And we're just going to go ahead and zoom in on the chip. Now here you go ahead and use the um, focus button here. You can turn that, dial that in. I'm going to turn this around so we can read it. And uh, we can actually get real good numbers right off the actual manufacturer of the chip as well as looking at well, some of the circuitry here and kind of move along here. It's kind of nice to be able to see that rather than having to use a magnifier. And so we'll go ahead and show you here when reading the actual memory. It made in Korea and this is a colored screen by the way 
Not too sure how the camera's picking it up. Shows four gigs. DDR3. It's got some really good resolution on this. And if you kind of get a little focused out, you can bring that in to get even the smallest solder joints. So it's kind of interesting. All right, so I'm going to bring over another thing that I caught earlier outside. And uh, I'm going to bring this in. And, and it is a an ant that I killed earlier and try to bring that in so you guys can see it and there it is there still somewhat alive and you can kind of get a good close-up of that it just goes to show you there and it's nice that this lighting here that you can actually turn up the brightness on this light to get a better so now you can get a little bit better color detail out of this of course the battery power doesn't last as long but you can see the details on that ant and usually you can zoom it in even closer if we were to lower this we could actually get closer to the ant you can do up to 600 times so now that I'm closer I'm going to go ahead and zoom in there as you can see Trying to see if I can get a real good close-up of the head on it. Okay, so now, as you can see, and with this lighting on here, I know this doesn't show the justice because it's at an angle. It's actually very clear uh, to my eyes. And you can see the jaw there still alive a little bit but that just goes to show you the magnification of this this ant and here's my finger coming within the area there it just goes to show you there it is a regular black ant so all right so this is uh, pretty impressive um, to be able to uh, do this. I'm going to go ahead and grab a dime here. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead. This is the actual wood surface here. We're going to slide a, a dime under here and kind of see right up how what 600 times looks like, which is just crazy. Now we flip the dime over here and slide it in over here. And you can actually see the marks from it being in circulation. You can see the ear there from this little dime right here. Sorry that I had to adjust the light on the camera, so it just goes to show you how small it is and then how fine and how close up you can actually do. In God we trust. And we're going to look at the edge here of the coin to see the edge there where you can see where it's banged up
Okay, now that I kind of showed you the dime and how, how well this does, this is actually showing the surface of the wood here. You can actually go through these now, and we're going to go through the actual menu here. And we're going to hit the menu, and you'll see here it'll come up. And you can do resolution, you can go up or down. and go through them and then if you want to hit the menu again it'll go to the next and you can go into auto power off after so long so you don't drain the battery frequency and the settings you have also you can set the time and also you can rotate the video screen as well okay so that's all there is to that. Not really much more other than putting an SD card in there, which I don't have one in there, and be able to take video of whatever you're um, looking at. It's kind of interesting. So just thought I'd bring that into play. Uh, this would be good for people that uh, work with small soldering points. Uh, if you set this up high enough, it should be able to see a lot of these areas as you can see the dime there again on the screen um, it's just a great product it's very interesting um, I'm really liking it um, it's pretty nice um, overall not a bad product at all it's, I mean it does what it says it can do um, it's got good resolution on this screen uh, I'm very impressed with it um, the only con that I have is the screen here um, when you put it on the actual suction cup here. It's a little flimsy on that. So I might put end up putting something right in this area to help keep this a little more snug when putting this on because it slides up and down way too much as you can see there's no resistance at all so other than that it's not a bad product at all um, it's going to do what you need it to do now not only does this have the ability to zoom one to six hundred times you actually have feature where you can take pictures and record video from this unit as well so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the recording process now we're going to switch to the camera all right we're going to go ahead and select record at this time comes with a little red dot there and i'm just going to record me putting this onto the screen and you can see that i'm moving it back and forth and we'll just move and look at some of these components on the memory stick here all right, we'll end with that right there. And so now we're going to go ahead and stop recording. I'm jiggling the unit because it's on this board. So now we can go back and play this video. And now we're going to go ahead and click play. And as you can see, I'm coming in there, sliding the RAM. I'm nowhere near that now. And you can see me moving it around exactly the way it was looking at the board which is really nice let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit and there's the video here and just showing you and okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and we're now going to switch it to camera and as you can see up here it says that's the camera there and we're now going to select it to where it actually shows or the other one was showing video this is actually showing a camera icon so now once I put the board in there I'm going to put a series of numbers on the screen Try to find the actual logo. Okay. 
So I'm going to put this on screen and it's something I want to save to the memory card which you can put up to 32 gigs is you now can go ahead and click this and it shuts off and this is actually a 5 megapixel setting. Now you can go lower if you want in resolution uh, for if you don't have a big enough card. So now when you want to go back to the camera and you want to go through you can actually go through there was the video and this was some tests I did earlier of my shirt I was wearing and then there is the picture that I took right there on the memory card so nice feature I'm sure some of you that uh, would need that or you, or you want to take a picture of what you're doing whether it be a project um, this is an excellent excellent quality unit I was very surprised and taken by this okay final thoughts on this well it's definitely HD uh, quality definition on this screen as well as the camera 1080p which is uh, quite amazing actually um, this thing does what it says it can do and it does it very well now if you are interested in getting this product first more um, has an Amazon store so you'll get this relatively quick now they are offering me a discount code especially for my viewers uh, for all you uh, technical that get in there and solder real fine points I think this will, will help you out a lot uh, as well as people that are just wanting to examining small bugs people wanting to look at something up close uh, even jeweler fine jewelers they could have this on hand to be able to just throw it up underneath there put that diamond underneath there the camera here and be able to see you know any flaws in that diamond as well if it's or if it's fake now they are selling these for $65.99 now I am in the process of getting a discount code so when this video is recorded um, I usually get the discount code as I'm encoding it or editing the video so um, if I do it'll be up on screen right about right there or if not it'll be in the description later on it depends on how quickly I can get a hold of the seller and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please share like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care.